And Rosé is the rapper, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. She's the one that's like, you know, really into the rapping. Or is that Lisa? Hey honeys, it's your boy Jeremiah back again with another video. And in today's video, I'll be reacting to a beginner's guide to Blackpink. Now, I previously reacted to Blackpink, which I'll look in the card above if you want to check that out. And of course, if you watch any of those videos, you know that I am super obsessed with those girls. I think they're very talented. See, I don't know a whole lot about them personally. And I've been mentioning that in my videos. And you guys have been telling me to watch these guys. These guys will be very helpful to me. So I took that into consideration and today I will be reacting to a guide for Blackpink so I can get to know the names, I can get to know the faces, I can get to know the voices and possibly get to know these girls better so I can get to where a point where I can say, oh, Jisoo was looking good in this video today or, oh, Jenny sounds amazing. I'm not at that point yet so we're trying to work myself to this point. So I thank you guys for requesting these guides to me. But before we get into this video, make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell icon for notifications when I post. I post every week, not every two weeks, not every three weeks, every seven days or less, honey. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Jisoo, Jenny, Lisa, and Rose. Dang it! <laughs> I'm trying to look at the camera and say it. How do four girls living in four different countries with only nine songs to their name become the most viewed K-pop group of all time, perform at the largest American music festival, and sign to the same four label as countries. Lady Gaga, Selena Gomez, and Maroon 5? It's time to welcome Blackpink to your area on today's beginner's guide to Blackpink. This K-pop... <laughs> <laughs> Blackpink has four members, Jisoo, Jimmy, Rose, and Lisa. They debuted in 2016 under the YG Entertainment Company. But all the cool kids just call it YG. Fans of Blackpink are called Blinks. <gasps> all you have to do is squish together black and pink and you'll get the picture, I think. <laughs> From the very beginning, Blackpink's image has been edgy, cool, and forward-thinking. <laughs> picture lots of rapping. Lots of dancing. Declarations of female power. And hair flips. Lots and lots of hair flips. So, let's meet the powerful ladies of Blackpink. Jisoo is the oldest member of Blackpink. She is also the only one born and raised in South Korea. Jisoo is one of Blackpink's lead vocalists. She's also the weirdest member. By far. <laughs> Jisoo has become well known for her gorgeous face and her childlike and friendly okay. personality. She's one of the group's designated visuals. Which just means she's hot. Jenny is the first <laughs> member of Blackpink to go solo. So la 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 la. She was born in South Korea and grew up in New Zealand. Do you know any cities in New Zealand? Oh. Jenny's stone cold gaze and fierce rapping okay. abilities quickly gave her the title of a diva. Though she she's would argue Aust that she's no diva at all. <laughs> New Zealand is in Australia. Rose's well, like near Australia. Hipster chic style makes her the indie darling of Blackpink. Think Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, but with the best Spotify playlist you've ever heard. If you're singing along to the hook of any Blackpink song, you're most likely singing along with main vocalist Rose. Rose was born in New Zealand, but raised in Australia among the kangaroos. Good eye, Mike. Lisa is the youngest member of Blackpink. But you never guess it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> hey, get it, girl. <laughs> what? It's just like acting 101. You never guess it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> her otherworldly dancing abilities have earned La Lisa international clout. <laughs> Fans all around the world are obsessed with this girl. Who is she? What is she doing? Oh my god, I love yes, her. She's girl. so cute. Plus, the way she can spit bars, it's like her and Jenny are a present day salt and pepper. Pig. What? Yeah. Salt and pepper oh. pig, because you tried it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Lisa is from Thailand. In case you haven't caught on already, Blackpink is the revolution. Blackpink has over 20 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Oprah doesn't even have that many. They're the highest charting female K-pop act on the U.S. Billboard charts. And they're going to Coachella in like a week. How do they do all of that with literally nine songs? Blackpink's rise to fame can be traced back to three main factors. 
First is their pre-debut hype. Before Blackpink became Blackpink, they were Jisoo, Jennie, Rose, and Lisa. Four young trainees under YG Entertainment. In K-pop, becoming a trainee is similar to signing a contract with a Hollywood studio. In both situations, you first pass an audition. Then, your company keeps you on retainer while you perfect your marketable skills like singing, dancing, public speaking, and twerking. <laughs> Then if your company <laughs> finds a good fit for you, they will debut you to the public as an artist or group. Back in the golden age of Hollywood, the biggest studios were MGM, Paramount, Warner Bros. In modern day K-pop, however, the big entertainment companies are SM, JYP, and YG. Okay. They're also known as the Big Three. The Big Three! The Big Three! So what about Big Hit? Is that not K-pop? <laughs> a major reason for Blackpink's early popularity was the grand mythology of YG and his girl groups. YG's first big girl group was 2NE1. They were a majorly okay. popular group that became known around the I world. I heard it down. What's the name of the group again? 2NE1. Take a look. Seriously, who was going to follow up that? Therefore, Blackpink was entering a sacred space by even debuting. The second reason for Blackpink's success is Teddy Park. The in-house producer at YG named yes, Teddy, Teddy Park has helped amazing. to create all of Blackpink's nine songs. Boom by all, whistle, playing with fire, stay, as if it's your last, do da 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 forever young, really, and see you later. As well as all of their new songs, Kill This Love, Don't Know What To Do, Kick It, and Hope Not. And let's not forget about Little Miss Jenny's solo. Having one lead producer helps give Blackpink's music a distinct color and vibe. Yep. You know it's a Blackpink song with a the first five seconds of turning on the radio, or else they're not on the radio that day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Their music videos are also extremely high budget. Like, yes. extremely. All of this order creates a Blackpink universe, kept vacuum sealed from the whims of other music styles and schedules that quickly turned these four trainees into untouchable icons. Finally, each member of Blackpink was handpicked and carefully balanced so that each one has a reason to shine. The small number of members and their distinct talents and personalities have given each one international first name recognition. This means that if I say Blackpink, chances are a fan will picture more than just a group. They'll picture individuals, moments, and movements. What makes this group so special is how these women and their fans buy into their own hype. Girl groups don't usually find the success that boy groups seem to have so easily. They face sexism, ageism, and the overwhelming pressure to measure up to a million different unrealistic standards. But Blackpink has broken the mold by recruiting a large fan base of mostly women. Women who want to see pop stars that have a voice and a vision, not just a pretty smile see honestly it's, it's not sticking with me please recommend me some more videos down below okay so i know the names rose jisoo jenny and lisa so here's what i got from that video lisa is the dancer she's the one that has been taking dancing by storm she's got all the clout from the dancing jisoo is the only one born and raised in korea if i'm not mistaken um jenny of course she was the one that went solo and rose is the rapper i believe if i'm not mistaken She's the one that's like, you know, really into the rapping? Or is that Lisa? It's either Rose or Lisa that's really into the rapping. Now that I think about it, I think it was probably Lisa because they were talking about her dancing and then they were talking about her rapping. But correct me if I'm wrong. That video was not as helpful as I thought it was gonna be, so please recommend me some more guides in the comments down below. I'd love to check them out. But that is all for this video, guys. Make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell icon for notifications when I post. I post every week, not every two weeks, not every three weeks, every seven days or less, honey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, honeys.